Okay, this is uh, a Ream RGDA furnace. This was kind of, uh, again, one of the Morphodites. Uh, no uh, inducer. Had a uh, draft hood in it. We'll only use for a couple, three years. And what I wanted to show you at this point is with the uh, HS780 control, that's right there, that Robert Shaw control, this has to be grounded. If it's not grounded, it will immediately safety out. Now I'm going to fire this thing up and I want you to watch the hot surface igniter and what happens when the uh, gas valve is energized. Okay, there's your hot surface igniter coming on. Now you're going to hear a click click right quick. Okay. The second click was the hot surface igniter shutting off. The first click was the gas valve coming on. But as soon as the gas valve came on, it sensed there was no ground and so it shut it right back off. Now I'm going to put a meter on it so you can see. Okay now the meters hooked up you can see right up there I've hooked on to the gas valve. Now we're showing a voltage but that's a ghost voltage. It's not real it's feeding back through the electronic control. Now you saw just a very quick blip. Now this thing's going to try again. Remember I told you this thing tries three times. Once it's tried the third time it locks out and stays locked out. It will not come back on again. So three trials for ignition and then it's off until the moon turns green. Okay watch closely at the meter. Okay, here it is in slow motion if uh, you didn't catch it before. Okay, you can see it just started to read and then it shut off. So, we're going to fix this thing. Okay, here our hot surface igniter is coming on. The first flame you're going to see is going to be a blue flame on that crossover tube. You see that little flame there? That actually proves flame because it contacts the hot surface igniter and there's kind of a time delay and it takes off. Now, what I've done to give this a ground is I've got a jump around here. I did not hook the ground up from the 120 volt. I mean, this has to have the ground from the 120 volt to work. So, uh, I'm going to show you where I've grounded it. Now if you look close at the yellow jumper right there, it just shuts it off. So, moral of the story is, if you're working on one of these things, make sure you have a ground from the power source. Make sure that the uh, machine itself is grounded. Uh, the uh, Make sure that the uh, control is grounded on its ground to a chassis ground and you'll be okay and that's CHF 780 uh, no ground